Good morning. I'm Cami, and this is Cami's Closet. And I just want to make sure that nobody ever forgets what those terrorists, those animals, those thugs did to our country on 9-11. If I'm correct, it's 21 years ago. Uh, just quickly, I'm not going to get into that. This is a luxury channel. Well, not always just luxury, but whatever's in my closet. So if you're new, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Again, it's a really dismal day and my lighting is horrible. So I decided to use my ring light. When I use my ring light, the screen flashes. It, 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 I, I don't understand. I thought the ring light is supposed to make things look better, give it more light, but it doesn't seem to happen for me. In any case, I just want to say that um, today, as every year, we think about what happened on 9-11, 21 years ago. And my husband is a retired NYPD police detective. And thank God he's alive and well today. He was there, but not when the towers fell. He worked nights, so he was sleeping at nine in the morning uh, when that happened. And I got a call from my mother when she was working to say, did you see what happened in Manhattan? Put the news on. Because my son, I, my first son was only around two. I was up at like seven in the morning starting breakfast for him. And I turned on the news. And when I turned on the news, it was a little after nine, I actually witnessed the second plane hitting the building. And we're all like, oh my God, uh, you know, what a horrible accident, what a horrible accident. No accident, no accident. Just like all the other crap that goes on in this country. Viruses, um, polio in the New York water. I don't think it's an accident, um, but I'm not gonna get into that. This is not a political channel. I just wanna make sure that nobody ever forgets what happened 9-11. My husband is alive and well, thank God. He went there a few hours after the towers fell when he was notified by his um, command in supervisors. And then I didn't see him for about four days. Thank God, knock wood, at this time, he doesn't have any um, serious health-related issues. Um, but Again, never forget, never forget, and never think that it can't happen again because it's so easy. It's so easy to get in this country and it's so easy to get away with crap in this country. That's all I'm gonna say. Here I am, day two of my fall mentality. I did a video yesterday. I did an unboxing of my new Chloe bag, which is right here. And I said that I was waiting for two pair of shoes that I purchased. So they're over here. So help me decide what shoe, they're actually booties. If you know me, I'm very partial to blue. I have another denim jacket on. Let me show you what this looks like. Hopefully you can get a, a good idea of the color because the color is vibrant and my lighting is crappy today. So, you know, please forgive me, but this is uh, the outfit of the day. It might get warmer later. It's supposed to rain, it's miserable, so I might not be wearing the jacket, um, but this is what I put on. This is another denim jacket. Love this denim jacket. I have this about three years. It's a DKNY, Donna Karen. I purchased on uh, Macy's. I can't recall the price. I know it was on sale because I don't buy designer clothing or name brand clothing at their retail prices. I have to have a sale. So I probably, I'm gonna say I definitely paid way under a hundred for it, but it could have been in the 75, 80 range. It's blue. 
and white. It's just, it, and it's so comfortable. It's, it's stretchy. I love, I love it. So great with this bag. I love the bag. Absolutely love the bag. It's a keeper. So let me come back to you guys. I'm not going to do jewelry of the day. I don't know if people enjoy that. You know, I, I sometimes I keep repeating myself because I wear the same things all the time. So, you know, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to do it. But generally, I'm just, again, wearing my wedding set. I'm wearing my blue sapphire ring. I have my uh, herringbone sterling silver chain that I purchased on Amazon. And uh, another little thin paper clip chain that I have for, oh God, probably 20 years. Uh, so again, unless I get something really, you know, new or something really interesting, I'm not going to just keep going over jewelry of the day, jewelry of the day. It's like blah, 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 boring. Anyway, so, excuse me, I have an itch under my nose. So this is my new mini, no, it's a small Marcy saddle in graphite, it's navy graphite suede. I'll um, link the video I did just yesterday, so you could find it, the unboxing. But these are the two pair of shoes I bought, and they're both from Amazon. And I will definitely link, I could, if my computer behaves, I will link them down below. If you're familiar with this, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. I think it's El Artiste, and it's by Springstep. Again, I have very bad feet. I'm only a size six, but I'm, I have like bunions. My, my toes turn a little bit. They're just, and they're very narrow. My feet are very narrow, but because of the bunions, they need a good toe box, a good size toe box. And I need good leather shoes because they have to be really pliable or, or they're going to hurt. They're, they're going to hurt. So. I have a few pair of these, this brand, in my closet. They come in a dust bag and everything. So let me show you. Again, the color might be hard to see on my, you know, screen, especially today. It's very dismal. These are booties in a navy blue. This is the back. They actually look darker in person. And you know me, navy for me, if it looks too black, I don't want it. I want it to look navy. I don't want it to look like I'm wearing black shoes when I'm um, intentionally putting them on so because they're navy. So again, this is the shoe. I'll take out the other one. These were not on sale. Let's, let's put them this way. No, yeah. This is the front. The side. I love the way the heel has the, has the design on them. I have a pair of red um, ankle boots from the same brand that also have the leather that comes down in the heel. They're beautiful. They're perforated in the front. They're a real, real fire engine red. And um, these are very comfortable um, boots. Boots, booties, I don't have any of their shoes, but I'm telling you that they're very comfortable. These were, I believe, $129 on Amazon. They're not inexpensive. Uh, they're not, you know, luxury brand. I don't buy luxury brand shoes, you know, high-end luxury brand. But Spring Step, El Artiste, very good quality. I I love them. This is the bottom. And they're very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. I always buy more than one pair because usually I'm not lucky with how shoes are, you know, fit me. Not that they don't fit. They're not comfortable. All the shoes fit. I'm always a size six, sometimes a six and a half. But if they're going to be too um, narrow here, 
the bunion is going to hurt after an hour. So I need a good toe box and they have to be very soft. Let me show you the other pair. I'm going to keep one out. No, I'm not. I can't put them on the table because my mother said it's bad luck to put shoes on the table. So they have to stay in the box. <laughs> Just, you know, a little superstitious. Here's the other pair. This actually did not come in a shoe box. This is the box that it came in and it said this item has been packaged in a recyclable, frustration-free packaging. So yeah, I was a little annoyed because the box was kind of damaged. And I'm like, great, I hope the shoe's not damaged, but it wasn't. I got these on Amazon also. Again, I will link both down below because they definitely have them. These are blue suede. Gorgeous. And these are soft brand, S-O-F-F-T. I'll link them down below. I have a ton of this brand in shoes and in boots. They're extremely comfortable and very soft. These are suede and I believe the color is denim. The heel is only about two inch. The other uh, boot also, booty is about a two inch. The zipper in the back. Gorgeous. I love them. And these are also very comfortable. So here's my dilemma. These were on sale on Amazon in my size, in the six. Not every size will be the same price. If you shop on Amazon, you know that. And today I can go back on and this might be $100. But these were a very good price. These were 64 And that's a good price for Soft, um, the brand Soft. So my dilemma is I didn't plan on buying two pair. But I said, let me buy both and see which one works better. So these are both. Oh, I don't want them to go on the table. I'm crazy that way. Here's the back. I mean, they're both stunning. They're both comfortable. That's the dilemma. They're both comfortable. I usually don't get that lucky. So, do I really need both? 129, 65, or 64, whatever it was. If I had to go based on price, I would keep these and send these back. Um, which one? Or do I keep both and say, well, you know, you spend $1,500 on a handbag, you could spend $200 and whatever it would be, $210 for both pair and have two really nice pair. Um, let's see what it looks like with the bag. Now, of course, I have other blue bags. I have blue winter jackets. I have a ton of blue sweaters. I wear jeans all the time. Not exactly the same color, but that's that's not an issue. I mean, it's very good. It's always hard to find same blues or same reds or same pinks or same greens, um, but they're not going to be right up, you know, against each other. One's on my feet and one's up high on my arm um but these this is a pretty nice uh pretty nice little uh match that looks really cool now this th these other ones they're not suede but they're still in the blue they're still blue on the navy side could it works it works because there's different variations of blue in this in this shoe 
it does work. It absolutely works. It works with the jacket. I don't know what to do. Do I keep them both? Do I send back the more expensive one and say, okay, I'll just keep the blue suede. I have a uh, blue suede Navy Uggs, but they're winter boots. And I have a pair of knee high blue suede flat boots also. I have them for many years. They're I'm gonna say worn, but they're 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 well loved. Um, and they're a lighter blue though. I more like on a royal blue side. Um, I don't know. I love them both. Tell me what you think. I will uh, be opening another handbag next week and I'm waiting for another mini handbag, which I promised I wouldn't buy any more mini handbags. And I think this will be the last one, the last one. I'm not gonna promise. We, we change our minds. Anyway, I'm not gonna keep you guys. Have a great Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna link below the, the shoes, the shooties, the booties, the shooties, whatever we call them. Um, they were both from Amazon. They're both, I think, still available in different sizes, but I don't know the actual, um, the prices of each size may, you know, may vary. And the El Artiste, if that's how to pronounce it, come in red also. A fabulous red, red, like a real blood red. So if you're looking for a booty in blood red, check those out. They're absolutely stunning. I was almost tempted to get them in red also. Um, anyway, I'm going. Have a great day and I will see you next week. Bye.